All right, guys, today we're going to try and get a little bit more painted on the Eclipse. It's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to come together. Obviously, the other side here still needs quite the bit of work, but we're getting there. All right, so we have the passenger side mirror hanging up. We also have the passenger side uh, fender cap here and then the spoiler. So once I get done painting all this, I'm actually going to wet sand and buff the trunk. It's been about two weeks since I painted it. Um, so I'm going to wet sand and buff the entire trunk and then, uh, well, at least the bottom portion where the spoiler is going to cover because it'll be really hard to wet sand and buff once that spoiler's on here. So I'm going to do that first, clean up this edge a little bit, and then uh, once I have that wet sanded and buffed and it looks decent, then I'll put the wing on later on another day. But uh, that's probably all we'll get done today, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so these parts are painted, and here's the big issue with painting outside or even painting in the garage. So painting in the garage, I have a lot of stuff falling from the ceiling constantly. This paint is chipping, it's falling down, and as you can see, there's freaking dirt all, all up on top of this thing, just from it sitting here a couple days, um, you know, since the last time I had it outside. So like I said, the spoiler and the mirror and everything is done, it's all painted, um, but here's the bad thing. Like there's some dirt right there, that, that should buff out. There's a little bug in the mirror, and you can see all the little speckles. And this was outside. This wasn't in the garage. So let me flip around here so you can kind of see just how much dirt I'm talking about. Now, all this will wet sand and buff out, so it's no big deal at all um, if you're planning on wet sanding and buffing a car afterwards. But you're definitely never going to get a clean job straight from painting outside. And... You can see just just how much dirt is in it. It's it. I can't get the camera to focus on it. Um, you know, and if if I turn the brightness up, you can kind of see it maybe a little bit better. You can see all the little dirt specks in there. Or maybe even if I turn it down, you can see better. Um, but you can definitely see. I mean, the finish on it's pretty good um, for for the spoiler, but it's definitely got a lot of dirt in it. So. Uh, like I said, this is why I will be ended up wet sanding and buffing the whole car. Um, to be honest with you, painting this door outside, I really didn't get much of any dirt in it. I mean, it's it's really clean. So it's always hit or miss. You never know if you're going to get a bunch of dirt in it. I didn't buff this door or anything yet. Um, here's a speck of dirt. Um, right there is a speck of dirt. Uh, down here is a speck of dirt, and, and and that's really it. Oh, here's another one, and and that's it. Like the door's freaking clean. Uh, the fender, on the other hand, there's a bug. There's a bug. Um, couple specks of dirt here. Couple specks of dirt here and here. See all this black soot crap? It's all from the ceiling falling down. Um, but anyways, the oh here's a piece of dirt that kind of like made the paint get sort of fish-eyed around it or something, but all of this will buff out. It's just crazy. Like, you can see for the majority of this panel, this and the door, almost no dirt in it. But then on the other, sand, on the other side here, you know, you got this spoiler. Um, there's a bug on it right now. Oh, he's gone. This little spoiler gets all this dirt in it, so it's really hard. It's hit or miss every time. I have... I actually put the headlight in, just to see how it looks, um, but put the fender back on, or the uh, fender cap back on, and the mirror back on, uh, and now, while I'm waiting for the spoiler, like I said, I was going to wet sand and buff the trunk, right now the trunk has been wet sanded with 1500, 2000, 3000, as well as the quarter panel, if you remember how funky this looked, um, we just got done wet sanding it, so... You can see, you can't really tell where that crap was anymore. So maybe once I buff it and polish it up, it might look better. So we'll see. Uh, that's the next step here. I'm going to run through three stages of uh, compound and polish. So get this 
buffed and see how it looks. Okay, this is just the first compound. And you can see, you can see my lines from buffing, but all those, uh, all those ugly marks are all gone. So whenever I run over this with the polish and the swirl remover, we're going to be golden, which is awesome because now I don't have to repaint this. Also got the spoiler on the trunk. Uh, it's all dusty and dirty right now because the other side of the car started all the body work over here. That way I can do this body work tonight, get it in primer, and uh, hopefully get it painted within the next few days. So that's pretty much it, guys. A little update for you on what's going on. Hopefully within the next few days I'll have this quarter panel and the door painted and the fender so we'll have both sides of the car done and uh, both bumpers are going to be a project in itself but we'll get there when we get there so uh, anyways that's going to be it for now uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.